certifies riding helmet models which meet the current American Society for Testing and Materials, F-1163 standard for equestrian headgear. ETL Laboratories is part of the Inchcape Testing Services, the second largest testing and certification network in the world. A helmet absorbs energy by crushing. As it's doing that, it slows down the process of stopping so that everything has time to come to a stop at the same rate. If you're falling unprotected and your head hits the ground, your head will stop so quick that the brain can collide with the inside of the skull. And that can cause brain damage, bruising, breaking of blood vessels in the brain. To receive SEI certification, helmet models must meet stringent requirements of ASTM F1163. 300 Gs is the internationally accepted threshold for serious brain injury. So in each of four impacts, the helmet must not allow more than 300 Gs to pass through it. Even a fall from only three feet, if unprotected, can result in acceleration of over 300 Gs. On top of a horse, the rider's head is at least six feet above the ground. If your helmet sustains any impact or you have a fall while you're wearing a helmet, you should return the helmet to the manufacturer for inspection. The helmet may have been damaged, but as this one shows, that damage may not have been visible. Hunt caps, older helmets, and items of apparel are not SEI approved. They are not designed to absorb energy, and they are obviously inadequate protection for your head. I would be back practicing medicine probably with, in a short period of time after my accident if I had, if I had been wearing an SEI approved helmet.